If you close your eyes and listen, that may sound like a tranquil waterfall, but this situation, as you can see, is anything but. This is First Alert 4 at 5. I'm Samantha Jones. And I'm Corey Stark. That stream of water, the result of a massive water main break in North St. Louis. It happened early this morning near Pinrose Street and Blair Avenue. This is in the Hyde Park neighborhood. However, crews are still trying to clamp down on this problem. And First Alert 4 Shoshana Stahl joins us live from there now with the latest on the cleanup and the recovery efforts. There's still a lot of water behind the street or in the street behind you there, Shoshana. Yeah, Sam, Corey, there's a ton of water still just gushing out from where this valve has still not been shut off. Crews still on scene. You can see just how expansive the water is. Streets all around this intersection are completely blocked off here. We know that in the street you can see bricks and debris. That's what's keeping several of these cars here stuck since they found out this morning. This happened more than 12 hours ago, and you can see the water is just still building. When I came out here earlier, it was more than ankle deep. If I was going to step in it now, it's past my shins. It is really high. It's continuing to grow and get worse and worse. Residents I spoke to say they opened their doors this morning to see a river of water just flooding by. The rushing river down Penrose in North City can be blamed on a 36-inch water main breaking. I open up the door and I just see water. Terrence Wallace has just been watching the spectacle all day long. You could say it's forced watching. I got a bunch of boulders and rocks and bricks, I guess, from the street erupt, erupted down there and it, everything flowed down here up under my car. And I'm just waiting. The break began around 4 a.m. And St. Louis's aging infrastructure is likely to blame for the nearly eight foot deep issue. It took crews eight hours to finally stop the torrents of water. It's a large main with a number of other large mains tied to it and the larger valves. You have to back shut to take pressure off of them to be able to shut them. Recently, the city surveyed residents about what to do with Rams settlement money and flowing into the top spot, replacing water mains. But almost a year ago, the Board of Aldermen raised water rates about 40% for the average customer. So with revenue streams, is better water infrastructure any closer to reality in St. Louis? Those funds are going right into the needed maintenance and repair of the system, as well as when emergencies happen that can be incredibly expensive and they need an immediate solution. So the water division needs to have money on hand for those things. But Alderwoman Ann Schweitzer says, believe it or not, there's not enough money for the water system overhaul. But she says there's talk of a master plan to identify immediate projects so expense and funding can be figured out. What needs to happen to do those projects is to make sure that they're happening in the right order, that there's funding sources for all of them between federal and local sources and grant sources. There's in the state, there's money available for water. It's improvements community members say are needed. Especially if something like this is going to happen all the time, you know, I think that would help. I did see a list of the capital projects that were sent by the water division to the board of aldermen earlier this week. There were about 15 projects that were on that list, most of them still needing funding. I did just reach out to the city to get an update on where we stand here. We're told that we still haven't identified what happened to cause this break, but we know the valve has not been turned off yet, that main valve, which is why water is still just pouring out into the street here at this intersection. It's something we're going to continue to follow with the city and knowing it's affecting so many residents here in the Hyde Park neighborhood. Live in North City, Shoshana Stahl, First Alert 4. Yeah, what a mess. That's a lot of water. Be careful out there. All right, yeah. Shoshana, thank you. Turning